Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Lucero Salwani and I am an environmentalist, entrepreneur and the daughter of this amazing African swell. And on my platform you get to see everything green, everything entrepreneurial and everything just about in between. Check it out. Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So on today's episode we are continuing with part three of the 2022 recap and in this episode i'm talking about all things green what happened last year for me in the green space i am so passionate about this space it is not even funny like if you go with me anywhere and we at a restaurant you are not supposed to have a straw no plastic straws i'm going to side eye you and i'm not going to be impressed so this is what i'm going to be talking about today what happened in the green industry any campaigns that came about what did i do last year you know and things that i've learned from that and please 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 if you're coming for the very first time please subscribe and if you a returning subscriber thank you so so much for viewing these videos and commenting i would love to urge each and every one of you to please comment it really does help don't just hit the like button please comment let me know if you're learning anything let me know if i'm babbling too much let me know if you are thinking that the content is interesting so that i know what i should put out there i'd really really appreciate that okay so let's go right into it remember to like share and subscribe guys so last year was super super amazing you know in as much as i was busy with so many things business was running um you know the new breed generation um leadership leadership organization was also running i was also very busy with the green industry stuff and this is just awareness 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 so last year what happened was i continued with the envira chats with lesejo so these happen once a month for one hour and they've been running for the last three years um so i'm really really happy about that and this year i plan to change it a bit because i realized that people aren't as aren't so keen to be on their whatsapps in those hours or there's just a bit more needed to really amp up the group you know but i'm really really grateful for everybody that stayed in the group throughout 2022 i know i wasn't as consistent as i was supposed to because you know it was really busy but i really really appreciate the fact that you stayed in the group and whenever we did have the chat you were engaging and you were you know telling me of the various things that are happening in your various communities which i'm really really happy about and another thing that happened in 2022 in the green space um so this is something that happened for the very first time last year guys i love kids ne? and so i had the privilege of working with a good friend of mine danielle from alberton and we were hosting workshops uh from time to time with toddlers so kids all the way from uh, age 2 to 7 10 and 11 and we were hosting these workshops for them and wait for one week okay wait for one week and then remove your spinach and the lettuce and put it on the ground do you guys remember and then what's the one thing that you need to look out for sun, sun. perfect so that's what needs to have a lot of sunlight and in the workshops we would have them learn how to grow their own vegetables they learned uh, plant anatomy how amazing and we had a few um children that are homeschooled join us at these workshops and the parents loved it so much because it was something that they could do that's outside of their schedules and it's a very interactive way of learning and having a feel and touch with nature i loved that so much i remember we had one session where it was the uh, easter bunny hunt and they were able to go in the garden and hunt for all these treats and we also had them have yoga lessons and we also had them have um, a lesson with planting their own their own um, archivarius rock roses and they loved it so much not only did they wait, go for an easter hunt they also went for a hunt in the garden for plants so they went back home with 
plants of uh, plants that they were learning for the very first time and we gave them a lesson about plants so I loved that so much and this year I plan to have more of those um, not to show how frequent it will be but I will be putting out the information as to how you can involve your children in that okay look I'm that girl that will make sure that they love nature appreciate it and really really just engage with it as much as possible i mean we even hosted a birthday party for one lovely uh, for twins hear me say one lovely for twins they were having their birthday and they asked us to come through and give them these lessons it was so amazing we had it in their home so if anybody's also interested in that looking forward to actually introducing that as well in the new year and then another thing that happened this was done with um um, our company Roneo Creations we did uh, on Mandela Day we did a, um, a cleaning campaign in um, collaboration with Nasrec Expo Center uh, where we had it at the Equestrian um, Center in Soweto and right there we went there and we cleaned and we also planted and we also worked with the local nursery in Soweto to get the plants right there and it was really really amazing trees were planted plants were planted and all these plants and trees that were there were all indigenous plants indigenous species and it was so great to even talk about how these indigenous species will actually contribute to the environment that's there and really really help with reducing water consumption because they don't need to be watered all the time i mean guys we need to be very sustainable with all that we are doing so i was very happy that we got to do that and lastly uh, i wrote a list oh and lastly um i was mentoring a couple of entrepreneurs uh under the whipsy uh, organization and I was also mentoring a couple of PhD students under the Green Matter organization and I was so so happy to do that that was my contribution of bringing about awareness my contribution of helping those who are coming up uh, helping green entrepreneurs and helping uh, PhD students and all those who are studying their masters etc and just to align the two you know you've studied something now go back and implement it in your organization in your community either through um, NPOs or NGOs or through having your own business or literally working in some corporate and having the mindset of saying that I will be a solution orientated individual i mean i loved that so much the entrepreneurs that i dealt with last year very very amazing 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 ideas um you know groundbreaking ideas for the green industry and it was so so great to see how they are evolving because i've been doing that for the last two years and i'm really honored to be selected as somebody that can assist in our community when it comes to building you know these entrepreneurs and leaders or pioneers in the green industry guys i am so excited and i know this year we are taking up more space we are involving more entrepreneurs we are involving more academics in the space so that we can have solutions you know from south africa we are capable of having solutions for this world and we are able to do it so yeah before i go in and too much let me just leave it at that but i want us to go through five reasons why we all need to be activists this year why do we need to be activists this year why do we need to make our small difference when it comes to the environment this year so if I don't do anything right if I don't do anything it will not change if I don't see a change it needs to start with me all right if it is to be <laughs> if it is to be it is up to me all right if it is to be it is up to me if I want to see a difference in my community it is up to to me so the first reason why we all need to be activists is there is no plan b all right there's absolutely no plan b so we only have one planet and because of that there is no plan b so we need to every single person you know every single person every single woman man child adult whatever it is whoever you are 
CEO, um, employee, every single person. We need to be activists because we have only one planet and no plan B. All right, have we got that? Great. Now, the second reason why we need to be activists is because everything that we do it is a true representation how we treat the environment it is a representation of our personalities guys there are people out there that are observing how you treat the environment in case you don't know in case you were not aware there are people who are checking how you are treating the environment and they are saying that you are a negligent person you are not a responsible person you are not a person that is holding on to sustainability you know you really don't care you're not neat you don't care you just want to use resources as you please and as you go and you have no care whatsoever as to what future generations are going to look after or what future generations are going to enjoy in the environment so you need to be a, an activist because it reflects on who you are and then the third reason why we need to be activists is because this is important because it allows for our ecosystems to thrive. Now the planet on the environment houses all various ecosystems and for it to thrive, for them to thrive, we need to be activists, you know, because we need to make sure that all ecosystems are thriving. One example, when we have our bees extinct, that's going to be a problem because of all that we are doing, because of our various industries, because of how we are doing certain things. If we have our bees extinct, we won't have pollination for our plants and that will compromise our food, our food security, that will compromise our fauna and flora, that will compromise so many systems, so many ecosystems in the broader scheme of things. And we should be worried if we don't have bees around us. We should be very, very worried if we don't preserve the farms around us if we're cutting down trees everywhere deforest 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 station <laughs> i'll put that word tongue tied sorry if we don't look after that we're gonna be in trouble so i hope i hope this is sinking deep within each and every person that's watching this because we don't want to see that all right we really really don't want to see that the fourth reason is the fourth or the fifth i've lost my train of thought so the fourth or the final reason it is it is an opportunity it is an opportunity for us to give back to our current generation and it is an opportunity to give back to future generations so if you make a consumer decision one day and say i'm not gonna use straws you are helping future generations because they will one day appreciate the fact that they are able to see all the species that we see in our aquatic life, all the species that we are, that we are seeing in all our seas and our oceans because they are not ingesting all the straws that end up in our seas and our oceans. Because you took that decision, that powerful decision of saying no to plastic straws. So please, please consider current generations and future generations. I hope this will motivate you going forward. And I really, really hope that you'll watch this on replay if you ever forget about it. And you will be encouraged to do something with your current community. Thank you so, so much. Remember to please subscribe, share, and comment down below. And let me know if you love this. Is it a nay or... Is it a yay or nay? <laughs> Is it a yay or nay? And please, please look forward to the next episode as we finish up the last, last, last part to our series. Thank you so much. Green hearts everywhere. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> Cheers.